Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I introduce yet another use of the Helios stage from Impulse Space. This is a methane and oxygen stage meant to lift payloads to geosynchronous orbit, but I decided to, in a previous video, use it as a service module for Dragon 2, and also to place multiple sets of payloads in the Starship, so that Starship could launch those into many different orbits. But here we are going to convert it into a lander for the moon. And I have added a new configuration for it, Deneb L. The Deneb engine is the engine on the stage. And this configuration allows it to throttle down to one third of its full throttle. That's important for a lander, as we will see. And here I am putting lander legs. That's my Lynx cabin on top. I did contemplate the use of the Mark 1-3 command pod, but it is a command pod, so it looks a little bit weird. It's not really a lander can. Uh, so I ultimately go with the links, but I will add ballast to the links to make sure it's four tons So we're looking at a four ton cabin on top of this stage now The reason I like this stage is because it's sort of like the link service module In fact, it's exactly like the link service module. It's about the same size It's just that the engine is more powerful and I don't mind the engine being more powerful here I am putting it on the Centaur stage from Vulcan. This is Pekka's model of the Centaur stage. But it turns out that that doesn't fit very well in Starship, even though it has about the Delta V I wanted. So yeah, that's a bit of a pickle. I tried to put it on New Glenn, but New Glenn doesn't have the payload capacity for this. It's 82 tons, the Centaur stage plus the lander. And yeah, New Glenn, it's a, a push. I tried out my Star Stage 2 here. This was meant for Starship, but uh, even though it has Delta V and everything, we don't really need its recoverability. You can see the heat shield there. It's meant to be a recoverable stage. We wouldn't be using that. And also, it's just a little bit wide to get out of that particular opening on Pekka's version of the Starship. My own old model of Starship had a bigger uh, opening for the cargo bay. So I made a custom stage. This is a hydrogen oxygen stage that's six meters in diameter and has five RL10 C1s because I didn't want to wait around, but even two would be fine for this purpose. So here it is in Starship waiting for launch. And the goal is that the stage that we're adding to the bottom of the lander will obviously transfer it over to the moon, capture it around the moon, and then start the descent. Then the lander itself would complete descent and then ascend again from the surface of the moon and then rendezvous with Lunar Gateway. Actually, the full mission would be if Orion was at Lunar Gateway, uh, disassembly would transfer over to the moon, dock at Lunar Gateway, have the crew from Orion board the lander, and then descend down to the surface of the moon. So, and then of course it would return to Lunar Gateway with the crew and then Orion would bring them back. That would be the full mission. I intend to do that full mission later on. But this was a test of the lander to see whether uh, I got, for instance, the throttling right and everything like that. So we will see whether it has the capacity with this stage that we have configured uh, to do the mission. So here we are close to staging and the first stage of well, Super Heavy is shutting off its engines. We don't say the first stage of the Starship Super Heavy, it's just Super Heavy. Uh, it's shutting off its engines and we have the hot staging and on goes Starship. Uh, Pekka has worked on the recoverability of uh, Super Heavy and has a script for that, but I didn't uh, bother with that in this case. Uh, as far as improvements to the Pekka's Starship Super Heavy mod, uh, I understand that he's planning to put those on GitHub prior to the next test, so we'll see, but yeah, some of the things that you'll see in this video aren't in the current version of the mod that's on GitHub. Uh, I'm partly responsible for testing these things, so anyway, uh, there we have it, we have reached orbit with Starship. Uh, one other improvement is actually getting things out of the bay. There seemed to have been a problem with that. I had to time warp this out of the bay anyway, uh, but Pekka fixed it after the stream where I did all this, so hopefully it's all right now and a payload like this could get out of the bay without any problems as we transfer over to the moon. So this is the lunar transfer and with five engines it doesn't take very long, so uh, we, we could do it with two. I mean, it's fine. Uh, we could save money like that if anybody's worried about that. But anyway, there is our transfer, and we had to do a minor correction because we were crashing there, but that was alright, that was an RCS thing. And here we are, coming close to the moon, and we will capture Now this is of course not the way we would go if we were trying to rendezvous with Lunar Gateway, that's higher up, and a little bit more complicated. 
but I'll do that separately and we'll test whether that whole mission pattern works out. First we need to make sure that after this lands and then gets back off of the surface that it still has enough delta V to get to Lunar Gateway. So that's one thing we're looking for. So there's the capture burn. For some reason I'm using RSS Reborn in here but not with the volumetric clouds and for some reason we seem to get the fallback textures on the moon. So the lunar textures are not working out right as far as I can tell. I don't know if this is how RSS Reborn expects it to look, but I'm guessing the answer is no, because as far as I can tell these are the fallback textures that are used when the real textures aren't being loaded properly. So anyway, here we are, that is the end of that stage, and now the lander is on its own, so you can see that we have about 600 meters per second left after that hydrogen-oxygen stage is done. Uh, we do have to put MLI layers on that stage, even though it looks like a bigger tank. Uh, it has 100 MLI layers, and I was hoping to use an off-the-shelf stage for that, like the Centaur from Vulcan, or something like that, but because of the shape of the cargo bay of Starship, we had to use the 6 meter stage, but uh, the Centaur from Vulcan could work if it was on, say, SLS or something like that. Whether you would need it on SLS, I don't know. Uh, EUS might be good enough, I'd have to check that. Okay, so here we are, landing on the moon with our engine, and you will see here I end up accidentally going up, and this is where the throttling is necessary. So, uh, the 33% throttling is exactly what's required so that this can now go down without turning off the engine. That's the goal. So, you can see it's exactly what we need for this bit. Alright, so we sit down. Unfortunately, we're sliding. <laughs> the landing gear, uh, well, that's not great. Uh, though, this is less precarious than Starship would be, Lunar Starship landing on the moon. I mean, it still looks a little bit precarious with the landing gear configuration here, but apparently this is okay these days. So anyway, I decided to get back to orbit. You can see we have a fair amount of delta for that purpose. But I'm looking to see that we definitely have enough to get back to Lunar Gateway. And again, this is supposed to be a 4-ton lander cabin, or it could be 4 tons of supplies, either way. And it has room for 4 people in there. And as far as I can tell, the lander cabins that were in the proposals so far, aside from Starship obviously, uh, they were lighter than this. So I think this is a reasonable amount of mass to expect to bring down to the surface for the smaller lander styles. I don't consider this as ideal as a hydrogen-oxygen stage because hydrogen-oxygen uh, lander stages would be able to potentially in the future refuel on the moon, but eh, it's pretty nifty and it has the benefit of using the same propellant as Starship, though the transfer stage doesn't, right? We used hydrogen-oxygen for that. So that's the downside. Anyway, so that is the Helio stage adapted into a lunar lander stage and yet another use of that stage because I like it so much. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.